Good morning, dear students. Uh, welcome to Unit 5, Historical Events in China, Part 2, Lesson 1. Before we begin the lesson, there are certain reminders. The schedule of the day will be, number one, new sharing. Let's uh, start our new sharing again. So this week, the new sharing will have to be prepared by student number seven in all P4 classes. One more time, student number seven in all P4 classes, and you have to submit me, submit this uh, new sharing by next week. Next, we look at GS book page 26-27, Historical Events in China, part 2. Here, we look at the Tang Dynasty and the Song Dynasty. Now, lastly, you have the homework in which you have to watch a video, uh, which is like, uh, it says, which emperor are you? And uh, you have to write a report. It could be a comic book. It could be... Uh, cartoon, it could be a biography, it could be a storyboard about uh, your rule. Like uh, once you find out what kind of emperor you would be, you can write about you. Draw a picture of you and write about your strengths, your weaknesses, what you did in your empire, like how would you rule, what were the inventions in your empire, and if you had that kind of money, how would you rule your people, how would you expand your empire, and basically your thoughts about the emperor that you would like to be. I would like to share two websites uh, which are very good content-wise. They have a lot of material related to science, uh, environment, and which science students can read. And uh, all the material is uh, free and it's appropriate to your age level. Now I'm attaching uh, two web links. One is National Geographic Explorer. If you are an animal lover, if you're an environment nature lover, just log into this website and read a book, read article, and you can share with uh, share with us what you read, the book, the author, what it meant in the next lesson. And another website is uh, Frontiers uh, Young Minds. And even this is a very good website for a little bit of advanced learners. And please log into both the websites, read some article, explore it further, and share what you've read in the next lesson. In this lesson, Historical Events in China, Part 2, we look at two very famous dynasties. They are the Tang Dynasty and the Song Dynasty. The Tang Dynasty started in 618 AD and it lasted till 907 AD. Many, many years, many centuries. And this uh, dynasty was considered as golden era in the Chinese history. Now, the picture that you see on your left, it is of Emperor Tai Zhong. When Tai Zhong was in rule, China was very strong and prosperous. During the reign of Emperor Tai Zhong, China was strong, wealthy, and stable. People lived and worked in peace. At the time, there were a lot of exchanges between China and foreign countries, which had long-term effects on the country's future development. Tangri Ogan or Tangri Kugan. Now, this term, it means the great ruler. In the rule of Emperor Taishan of Tang, China had very good relationships with the countries in the Western region. The rulers of those countries, countries called him Tangri Oghan. In this picture, we look at the cultural exchange that happened during the Tang era. If you look at the picture on your left, it shows a, politic, a picture of officials of the Tang dynasty receiving foreign ambassadors. The close relation between China and the foreign countries promoted trade and cultural exchanges. For example, silk 
China pottery, tea, and a number of products were exported from China to other countries, while pearl, jewelry, and spices were imported into China. There was also exchanges in literature, art, religion, and clothing. The cultural exchange had far-reaching influences even to the present days. As you can see in the pictures below, an agat drinking horn introduced from East Rome into China during the Tang Dynasty. And there is another more, another uh, sculpture, camel, you can see, which is introduced into Europe. If you look at the picture on your right, it's a story about the Buddhist monk, Zhuang Trang's journey to India to obtain Buddhist religious text during the Tang Dynasty. This was famously known as Journey to the West. Have you heard or read about Journey to the West? I'm sure most of you have read the series. It's a very popular uh, TV series or movie and a book about Journey to the West. Now, Tang Trang, he went to India to study Buddhism. After more than 10 years, he returned to China with a lot of Buddhist scriptures. In the picture, you can see the Buddhist monk, Zhuan Trang. You can see Wu Kong. And you can see Zhu Bashi. And there's also Sha Wu Zheng, if you know all the four characters. The Song Dynasty started in 1960 AD and it lasted till 1279 AD and there are a couple of great stories which are associated with Song Dynasty. There were many great poets and many great soldiers and warriors which were there in Song Dynasty era. During the Song Dynasty, the northern tribes invaded China for a long time. There were some famous national heroes throughout the long Chinese history, and one of them is Wen Tianxuan. And the Song of Righteousness is very famous in Chinese literature. Please click on the link below to know more about the Song of Righteousness. There's a great classic story about uh, Yu Fei. Ever since he was young, Yu Fei aspired to serve the country. When Jin invaded Song, Yu Fei was only 19 and he was enlisted in the army. Jin was defeated in a number of battles. Now, do you know the story of Yu Fei? He was, a, he was considered to be an epitome of loyalty and filial pity. Please click on the link below to watch a video about Yu Fei and his bravery.